For our final story, we'll take a moment to honor St. Clair of Assisi, whose feast day is tomorrow, Friday, August 11th. The patron saint of television, the founder of the Poor Claire's Franciscan Order, she is a special patroness of Mother Angelica and our entire EWTN network. And a home for new moms and their babies in South Carolina has a special connection to this beautiful saint. St. Clair's home was founded by Claire Pizzuti in partnership with other pro-life leaders in her home diocese of Charleston, South Carolina. As a young girl, Claire was inspired in a dream to found the home. Now that dream has become a reality and it has saved countless lives from abortion. St. Clair's facilities include both a maternity home where expectant and new moms can live, plus a resource center that serves hundreds of women by providing them with material needs. Claire Pizzuti joins me now. Claire, thank you so much for being here. If you wouldn't mind, could you share a bit more about this dream you had as a girl? Yes, Prudence, thank you so much for allowing me to be on here today. I'm very excited to share a little bit about a cause that is near and dear to my heart. Around 20 years ago, I had the first of three dreams which showed exactly how active we need to be in the pro-life cause. So I woke up from this dream and I talked to my parents and we knew we had to do something. So we started a small group and that group grew even larger. And we eventually founded the first Catholic run maternity home in the state of South Carolina. So Claire, after these dreams, what came next? Talk to me about all of the resources that are now available for moms at St. Clair's home. So at St. Clair's home, we serve women 18 and older. We can house those women and their already born children. We offer them not just a place to rest their head, but we are teaching them because most of them come to us broken, abused, living in cars, living in tents. We are striving to teach them that they are daughters and have tremendous amount of dignity in our loving God. Mm. At the home, we not only provide housing, like I said, but we give them skills. We teach them life skills, such as financial management, how to change oil in the car, um, cooking, cleaning, any of those basics that, that these women might not have learned otherwise. Mm, that's so important. And Claire, it seems that you've been very successful in working with your bishop and the diocese to found the home. So tell me a little bit more about that partnership so that others can try to emulate what you're doing. Yes. So uh, several years ago, we, because we knew that we wanted to be, have a solid Catholic foundation, we wanted to approach the bishop and ask his permission and kind of just tell him exactly what was going on. So because two of our founding members were pretty close with the diocese, people working in the diocese, we um, got a meeting with the bishop several years ago, and it's quite exciting because we went to the meeting only asking for his blessing. We wanted to be in line with Catholic teaching, and we wanted to have his support, mm -hmm. but he gave us so much more when he said, I can do one better. This is Bishop Robert Guglielmoni. I can do one better. I want this to be diocesan run because pregnant women and their unborn children, they need our help. And now is the time for this. Yes. And it's important to be tapping into the resources that the church has. It's amazing that you've been able to do that. Claire, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Claire of Assisi, talk to me about her impact on your life and her role in the founding of this beautiful home. She is our number one supporter. <laughs> we could not have done anything without her. <laughs> But the two reasons that we chose her specifically are she's excellent at giving a voice to the voiceless. And there's no one more uh, voiceless than the unborn and those pregnant women in crisis pregnancy situations. Mm. And we knew, and as you know, Prudence, in the culture of life, we have lots of attacks. And when we heard that St. Clair has on two accounts um, saved the city of Assisi from uh, attackers coming in, we knew that was the person that we needed, the intercession um, that we needed to have this home become a reality and for her as a role model for these women. Mm, a defender of the vulnerable, perfect patroness for this yes. home. Claire Pizzuti, thank you so much for joining us and for all the work that you've done to save 
moms and their babies. We're excited to talk to you more on Pro-Life Weekly in the future. God bless you. Thank you.